One million animal and plant species are now threatened with extinction. In this week's Keeping It Green segment, Ian Wallace finds out how animals in small islands are more vulnerable than others from one of the world's top climate scientists. The Caribbean is a biodiversity hotspot facing threats from climate change. Despite making up a small portion of the Earth's land mass, globally, islands host many species. Islands, um, they occupy between 2 to 4 percent of the global land surface area, yet we host about 20 percent of existing terrestrial species. So think about it, one fifth of the species existing terrestrially in 2 to 4 percent of the Earth's land surface. That's pretty significant. Shobha Maharaj is a climate scientist investigating small island biodiversity. She says existing species are under increasing threat. Of the species that are now considered to be threatened, close to 50 percent of them are found on islands. So it doesn't look very good. In the latest report by the Intergovernmental Panel on the Climate Change, there's a dire warning for our coral reefs and fisheries. The report states that above 1.5 degrees, there's expected to be a 70 to a 90 percent loss of globally, not just on small islands, but globally of reef building corals. And if temperatures rise to two degrees, that is that will increase the 99 percent loss of reef building corals. Climate change is already impacting coral reefs and biodiversity within the oceans as some fish have migrated northwards to cooler waters, according to Maharaj. If you talk to some of the fishermen these days, they will tell you that they don't catch certain uh, species anymore. It's already beginning to happen, and they're already beginning to see it on the ground. With time, this is expected to increase, and we will at some point, it's not me, it's we will at some point lose some of our fisheries. The climate scientist says, despite the high vulnerability of small islands to climate change, there's not enough up-to-date climate model data that can be applied to small islands. The problem is, as far as I'm aware, there hasn't been any modelling or any kind of serious study into what kind of species are going to be lost and what we could potentially replace these with. As a result, this can become a vicious circle. So Caribbean nations that depend on coral reefs and the fish breeding within them for their livelihoods face an uncertain future. I'm Ian Wallace, keeping it green for TDT News.